Hooray! The Power Apps attachment control is fixed, right? We had some problems with it. It was broken. You couldn't use it. And now it has been fixed. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to add to your app. And there is the old way. There's the workaround way. And then there's some awesome new ways that you can do it thanks to this fix that I want to make sure you understand. So not only can you add it into your app, but you can add it pre-customized into your apps now. Super easy. Super out of the box. That sounds like fun. Then let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. Okay, so to get started over here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with a blank app. So we'll click on create, we'll say start with a blank canvas, and then we'll choose tablet size. It doesn't matter, right? We just need a blank app because I wanna make sure you understand all the steps involved. The most important step I need you to understand is like today is I think June 16th-ish, 2025. As of today, the fix is available, but you have to do a little extra effort to get it. Like in a week from now, it'll all just be there. You won't ever have to do this again. But if you're trying to work on it today, then I want to make sure you understand. So what you need to do is you need to go up here and click on the ellipses, and you're going to click on settings, and then you're going to click on support. So in here, you can see the authoring version, right? What is the current version that Power Apps is? Normally, we don't care, but the key is that right now, this version, 61.7, the attachment control is not fixed in it. But if you say edit, and then you change the version to 62.7, which will probably be the version in a couple days anyway, by default, but if you change this, then you're going to need to reload and apply the version. So you know, we hit reload and apply version. And so Power Apps is reloading. Now, you, anytime you change the version, you always want to make sure that it took your change, right? So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna hit the ellipses and go back in and just make sure under support, it now says 62.7. Um, as a rule of thumb, I do not recommend changing the authoring version, right? We had this capability for a long time, but it gets people confused and in trouble. So generally you wouldn't, but if you need the attachment control right to work right away, then that's what you're going to need to do. Okay. So now that I'm 62.7, now if we go and do our normal steps, right? So we'll go over here and we'll add a data source. We'll say data, we'll say add data, and we'll search for SharePoint. Right? Not all your Dataverse tables have attachments anymore, so sometimes using something other than SharePoint gets confusing. So we always just use SharePoint. And then if we connect to my Power Apps video site, and then we can grab any SharePoint list we want, not document libraries, but any of the lists. So we'll grab employees as usual. And then once we pull this in, now we go up here, we insert a form, we say edit form, we connect it to employees. We please wait for a moment. And then we go over here to edit fields, and then we say add a field and we add attachments. So we'll say add. Okay, so there's the attachment control working. That's what you want to do your SharePoint or your file uploads in Power Apps, right? But now we can click on it, control C, control V. And then of course, when you paste it in, it's always angry and then you just need to fix it, right? So items to be blank, you'd hit the drop down. You just change this to be a color. So we'll just do color.black. And then you'll click the drop down again. And then uh, tooltip we don't need, so we'll just get rid of that all together. And then here we'll have display mode and we'll set that display mode to um, edit right there. And so then there you go. Now our attachment control is happy hunky dory. We can use it to attach files, right? The paper clips back because of this version, yay! Good job, Marcel and Evan and the other people on the product team that made all this happen for us uh, in such quick order to get this fixed. Yay, high five. Okay, so that's one way to use it. Now, during the workaround while it was completely broken, the second way that we were using it is you could go down here and you could grab it. So if you click here, you can just drag it out. So if you're not a copy and paster, you can drag it out. When you drag it out, you get those same errors and then you just need to go through and fix all these again, right? We're not gonna fix all those, okay? So that's the status quo. That's the way we've worked on this stuff for a long time. And of course, at that point, we can also get in here, we can delete out all this. Uh, we could even get rid of our data source, right? Uh, remove. And then, oh, this is angry about something. Oh, it's mad about the height of something. So we'll just say, you know what? Your height is zero. There you go. Okay. So we fixed it. So that's doing it the old way. Yay. But now there's a bonus thing, right? So as part of fixing it, they found a better way for us to do this. So we don't have to do all those hoops. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab a copy of the actual YAML for it. So if you haven't done this before, Power Apps now has the ability, all your controls, you can copy their code and then paste it into any app and it will work, right? So you have this uh, data, right? It's called YAML. We don't care, right? We just need this in this pattern. 
So I keep it in Notepad. You can keep it in OneNote, your file repository, your Gits, whatever you want, right? But if you go now and you just go in here and you hit Control V and paste, when you paste that YAML in, it gives you the working control. What? Hey, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, right? That's what keeps me making all these content that tells you how to fix things, right? So like, subscribe, back to the video. That's right, no more adding a data source, no more adding form, you can just use the YAML. If you haven't seen the whole code copy thing, if your mind is exploding right now, look up there, there is a link to a video where I show you how that all works. Um, the problem when I made that video was the attachment control did not support YAML, right? This YAML support just showed up in this 62.7 as well. But once you understand that that's possible, then say that you have a specific way you like these things to look, right? You can have all that. So if we switch over here, so here's an, uh, uh, the YAML for an attachment control that I've pre-configured. So if we copy all of those properties, we go over here and now if we control V to paste it in, look at that. I got that gray background, I got the purple, I could have changed all the text. Whatever design elements you like, they all just get copied in with that YAML. And if you change it, right, and you're like, all right, you know, uh, right now it says there's nothing attached. I wanna say, instead of attached file, we wanna change that text to upload. So we go over here, and then we would just find the um, add attachment text, I think, right there, yep. And so we'll say, change the word attached to upload, because we really want this to be about uploading. Oh, we got spell upload, right? But look, now that's in there. Now if I right click and I was to say view code, there's all the code. Notice that the add attachment saying upload file is in here. And so I could just copy this and put that on my notepad. And then the next time that I open a brand new blank app and hit paste, it would paste in with all of this information. All right, so I'll throw that down in the uh, comments below. So that way you can have my beautiful purple border color one. It's not beautiful, but I just wanted you to understand like that's how that works, right? That's that video I told you to go watch a minute ago. Hey, while I was editing, I realized I probably should remind you. So if you're not doing a lot with uploads, right? We've got the simple upload video. So link up there. I think we already covered that one. We've also got the advanced uploads video. So it talks more about like things like setting metadata, handling folders, a bunch of different things. So remember, when it comes to uploading files, you know, there's simple, just upload a straight file, but then there are more advanced things you can do. And so there's a whole video up there to help you with that. All right, so there you go. That's all I've got for today. It's just a reminder that this is all here, right? If you need to upload files, I tell you, I put the upload video up there because, you know, uploading files, you can drag and drop into the control. There's a lot of really great stuff you can do with Power Apps. We just needed a way to have an upload control. And so it's the attachment control. But now instead of stealing it from forms, we can just add it manually. So questions, comments, ideas, leave them below. I always read all those comments and try to respond to as many of them as I can. Um, you know, if I can do anything to help you, remember here at Power Apps 911, we do consulting, we do projects, we do a break fix stuff, we do training, we do mentoring, we have a six month university program. We get all the things, okay? And with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day.